Hey guys, what's going on? It's Talk Forest TV. It is a pack um, show off um, news from the city grand. Um, obviously, been looking at doing this video all day, um, looking at um, all the latest news that is going around. Um, it, I'm going to talk about Jack Holbert as well. I'm going to talk Ben Bereton, Joe Rowell, Ben Watson, Ryan Yates, Liam Bridcourt. Um, I talk trying to um, plan to. Trim me swad swad back down to twenty two but been in a couple trim me swad swad back down to twenty two but been in a couple more players high quality players into the club to actually um um improve for us but it is one of these ones where um it will be interesting but I'm gonna start with the news in which um it in it is in the uh, <coughs> title. It is Ben Watson um Liam Bridcourt, two players, Watson only came last January, um, Bridcourt came in the transfer window before it, um, at least being said by Peter, transfer window before it, um, at least being said by Peter, well, is quite reliable, and um, journalist from the um, Sky Sports, he's, he does get a lot of things right with regarding Forest, um, he has mentioned that both um, Ben Watson and Liam Bridcourt could be leaving, um, for us um, in January, obviously, uh, Liam Bidcup hasn't featured as much this season. Um, he only featured in the entire Bowie Cup. <coughs> I told Cranker always said about his productivity with his attitude and all that, but he's willing to get into the um, starting lineup, and especially with you got told back coming back, mate, you got Jacob came in, you got the Greek lad, you got Jedi Orwell as well, all in front of him, Ben Watson in front of him as well. Um, is he is finding it a lot more harder to actually um get first team football. Ben Watson on the other hand is the club captain, his first team captain. Um, this one came as a little bit of a surprise, but with um Jakob playing well, um get your ways called back in front of him. Um, it has been said that Ben Watson could leave in January to ease and get get in the dream time. Um. This one, it came as a little bit of a surprise for me. Um, I think it's a bit weird. Um, T O X one C Apex. Hey, oh hey, hey. Um, ben Watson. Is, this one did came as a little bit of a surprise to me as well. Um, but I think obviously it's like that age we what will be wanting to be playing regularly first team football at the club. Uh, we have, we have, and especially with all these. And sent him with in front of like your um, Ben Watson, your name because Brian Yates as well. Don't forget, he's another one that could be going out on loan, um, promising young player, but he has been hampered by the quality we do have in front of him. Um, all three centre midfielders could be leaving in January, and um, it's one of them ones. Do you get your comments coming in about it? Um, I think. We will be looking at a couple of players. Even Jordan Smith might leave, might be leaving between that. And I haven't even had Sniff since he's sending off an in Inspire. Um, so I think it's one of them ones could get back in. I don't think it will, but um, you will be looking at um, these sort of players that could be leaving in the summer, uh, in January as well. Um, going to flip a little bit because um, we're all on about selling people. Um, I told Grand Cross team man said today that he is want to get rid of players, so um, surprise, surprise, this is probably where um, it came from. JJ Cricket Football, ho, hey. Um, I told Grand is wanting to um, improve his squad in um, January as well. Um, is wanting to be in a couple of players to strengthen. Um, no names has been mentioned, but is looking at being in a couple of players just to strengthen the team. I think, um, looking at it, um, if we're going to let players like Ben Watson, Liam Bridcourt, and um, that go, then it could be um, coming, um, improving it. JJ Cricket Football Watson played okay, yes, been playing okay. Um, <coughs> But I think we are a shadow that um, it's looking to be in that little bit more quality. Um, but I think one of the players, which I said in August, that 
possible would have been leaving in order to what um got himself back in the team and playing with us. It is the Rika. Um yeah, Brian will be coming back um for full fitness in January, but he might be one of the places where he could send him back to West Ham, um, because of um, his injury and with the Rika playing well and Jan Cotron him getting the team, he might be um sending him back as JJ said, we do need quality, yes we do. Um but I think it's one of them ones. I think Don Carlfis as well, he could be another player with and yes, we they learned this might even be ending in January, all we know. Um they haven't really spe spectacle up as much. So I think it's one of them ones January will be interesting, to say the least. Um but AK I said that it will be um to me this what done with and actually a few more players coming in. Um, another player who is on loan, who is um, looking like he's going to be um, moving to, um, will be wanting to finish and looking to move for his permit. It's Jack Colbert. Um, he has came out and said that about his relationship with Rafa Benitez at Newcastle. Um, so it, it is bad and it's open for a permanent move to Forest. It's an integral part of that sending midfield with Jack Colbert. Um, <coughs> I've landed the over. <coughs> and that one has been said that they could be um, wanting to move to Forest permanent. But uh, it's just this rage that it's doing them here. It's on 60 grand a week at Newcastle. So I think um, that one is quite a scary one. Um, Darryl Murphy, as JJ Cricket um, just said, Darryl Murphy is injured, um, I don't know what sort of injury he has, um, but it's weird one that he hasn't really featured since the game. Uh, it's Murphy leaving, I haven't heard his name, but um, depending on who our tour crank would do actually been in, in January, there might be a possibility that Darryl Murphy might be leaving, but who knows, uh, it is for us, but our tour crank knows what he wants, um, he knows he wants quality, and... Um, that is a good debate for actually have about Darryl Murphy because he is a striker that in um, Karin Arnsfield um, Karin Arnsfield they are um the uh, the national um respected squads. Um we do need a striker with a lot of pace to say the least. Um but I think it's just that sort of thing that we need quality up front still, but I think we will be um, looking for quality doing the shadow of that. Um, another player could be returning to Forest is Ben Belton. Um, ben Belton, I've got a lot of criticism at Blackburn, and there might be still be a potential that he could be coming back to Forest in January. Um, hasn't really made it up in. Blackburn and yes, he's even starting Blackburn fans don't really rate him. So um Ben Berrington might be coming back to Forest. Um so I think he's, he has got potential but he hasn't really lived up to it yet. Um another player is Joe Wowell. Um Stephen Gerrard always spoke highly about um the centre half. He's quite a good centre half. Um and Stephen Gerrard is nothing to make him permanent. Even in January or in summer, I know Joe Wall wouldn't want to, but he, he is his playoff quality. So it it is interesting to see what will happen for him. Um, thank you for watching Talk Forest TV. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. I'd like to thank you. And